Good morning, y'all. It is uh, August 23rd, 2018. So, uh, I'm sure some of you notice I don't say too much about the cops anymore. Because it's kind of a waste of time, considering none of them want to uphold their oath. None of them want to do their job. They continue to serve USA Inc., the federal criminal government, etc. But recently, as in the last couple, two, three weeks, there's been a lot of action here in Worland. And uh, I've been waiting for the local paper to say something, or at least for this criminal sheriff and police chief to put a report out on it. But a local man, a local businessman, a local prepper, a wake person, was raided by the ATF, Washakie County Sheriff, see here, Steve Rackness, and the Worland Police Department. Where the police chief gave Elliot and crew. Now, the reason they went in uh, was supposedly somebody turned this guy in for making pipe bombs. Now, let me tell you something. This guy's a prepper. He's got it squared away. Quiet, minds his own business, you know, does his thing. He doesn't bug nobody. But somebody, or who knows, maybe this department, this crooked criminal law enforcement around here, made the shit up. I don't know. I'm going to send some freedom of information request stuff on it. But anyhow, let me get to the point. Sorry, I get to rambling. I'm drinking coffee. It's pretty early. So they go in, now I believe it was the August 11th, I think. I'm going to try and get a hold of this guy and see if I can get him to tell the story. Um, because it needs to be told. Because this sheriff and this police chief here really deserve to be behind bars. Not just for this, for many things. And they have it out for me, I'm sure you know. As you will here as I go on. Anyhow, ATF, this criminal, etc., go in and raid this guy early in the morning. Now, from what I'm hearing, they held an AR or an AK to this man's head for five hours while they searched his property and found nothing. 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 Did they come out and say, give an apology or anything? No. They've been keeping it quiet. And I've been keeping my mouth shut about it because I was waiting to see if they would put anything out about it, which they did not. And they're not going to. But I'm going to make them now. So, yeah. Held a gun to this nice, nice gentleman's head for five hours. You big, tough cops and big tough federal criminal agents oh you guys are so tough anyhow so they they did this you know whatever goes on well a few days ago a local gentleman stopped by and uh informed me that this criminal sheriff here, Steve Rackness, were the police department, and from what I gather, I'm going to do some uh, investigating and find out, and the ATF had a dumpster driver from the city of Worland dump the trash out of my alley, my trash, down at the Worland City Shop. And they sifted through it looking for something. What were they looking for? Any excuse. This criminal right here 
who is running for sheriff again, and why nobody's running against him, I do not know, was looking for an excuse to have the federal government, the ATF, come and take me out. And when I say take me out, I mean because he knows that if any federal agent shows up at my door or around me, that I will defend myself. So this was a way they could get rid of me because they are butt hurt because of this. I'm sure all of you have seen this, or well, most of my friends have. When I called out this sheriff, I want charges against this sheriff. I want charges against state senators, everybody else, blah, blah, blah. Nothing. They wouldn't do nothing. Nothing. And he's had it out for me for a long time. The sheriff. And I could spend an hour talking about it, but let's just, I'm just going to give you a few examples. Two thousand thirteen this little Jesus Denez shot a climber in Ted Sleep King. Sheriff automatically makes me the number one suspect. Yeah, like I just go around shooting people. Trying to get me for that. Well, sorry, it wasn't me. But while they're busy worrying about me, this little Jesus Devez running around free. And from what I hear, he was a narc here in Orlando. I can't prove that, but that's what I hear. And it's probably true because we got a lot of it. So this Devez shoots this guy. Demon chick, whatever. You can read the articles. And then later, shoots three people, killed two parent, killed the parents right in front of the children. Uh, a couple years later, and I see they dropped the charges here in Worland not against him because he got life in prison in Montana, or whatever for it, which is bullshit. But we have crooked judicial system here too. Everybody's crooked here. This is the most crooked town county <laughs> in the state of Ohio. Anyhow, so they go and, <laughs> and sit through my trash looking for a reason. He was looking to take me out. This is a conspiracy. If somebody should be charged with conspiracy, it's this man and the police chief. I don't know what they were hoping to find in my trash, but sorry. Sorry I hurt your feelings, boys. Criminals. <laughs> so, yeah. So, he was hoping while the federal government, the ATF, was here, they could find something. They could hit it, send in their little squad. Because if they're holding a gun to somebody's head for five hours, you know what they were going to do to me. They were going to execute my ass. And that's all that would have been. Now, I'm sure there was probably more than the man they raided in me. It was probably to the few awake people here. So who knows? This is how crooked these people are. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to do some, uh, get some freedom of information requests sent out. I'm, I'm sure there's some body cam footage of the raid they did on that poor guy and uh, but this this department has a way of making body cam footage disappear don't you don't you criminals with badges <laughs> so as far as I'm concerned you know I've been in defense mode for well since these criminals wouldn't do nothing, since the FBI wouldn't do nothing, nobody wants to do nothing. Refuse to investigate, so that makes you criminal. That makes you a criminal traitor. And you deserve to be behind bars.
you don't deserve to wear a badge at all. So I've been trying to maintain calm about this. I make up videos, but I get so mad. <laughs> but anyhow, so yeah. You were going to try and get me taken down, huh? Sheriff, police chief. Well, I'm going to suggest you never show your face around me. <laughs> I'm going to suggest you don't come anywhere near me. Ever. And if there's any way I can do it because of all the other BS false claims and lack of doing your job, I'm going to see if I can take some serious legal, civil action, whatever you want to call it. Because I'm sick of you. I'm sick of all you criminals. But I'm going to tell you what, if you ever try and set me up again, ever, you're going to have to deal with me. That is not a threat. That's just the way it's going to be. And I'd like to know, uh, I'd like to know a lot of things. But like I say, I'll be sending some uh, free information requests on all this and to the ATF, to the Sheriff's Department, and the Police Department. We'll see how they all match up. Like I say, criminal, crooked, sheriff right here. Oh, 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 while we're at it, this sheriff, let's just, let's just do something. School, kids, world. And with right. see if that shows it. Right. Let me pause this for a second. Where the parents worry school training size exercise went too far. This even made Fox News. This even made Fox News. This was a staged little event here. And why? Well, I know why, because the people here are cowards and a bunch of program brain dead, stare at your phone sheeple. Why they didn't see this this outfit? So uh yeah. Chase these kids around. Just traumatize them. My niece was there. She's the only one who kept her stuff together from what I hear. But uh, I sent a freedom of information request on this to the police chief just because it was the police mostly involved. But every question I uh, asked about was the federal government involved? etc they refused to answer or say oh you have to go through the sheriff for that one so that pretty much told me the federal government was involved in this here's fox news let's see if we play this one a school in wyoming is reportedly under fire over a training exercise which some parents say went too far it happened at this elementary school and involved a man in a hooded sweatshirt with vicious backpack walking onto a playground filled with kids. The drill meant to prepare students for a so-called intruder situation. The school said its gym teacher reacted as planned, tapping the man on the shoulder and telling kids to run. But that's
from parents say things started to go seriously wrong, with some students breaking down in tears and others asking if they were going to die or ever see their parents again. Uh, Sandra, I'm going to come to you on this. The facts of the story are that parents knew about this from the county, and they were told in an email, very simply, low-level drill. You're saying the parents were? Yeah, they were told that this was coming, <clears throat> low-level drill. As I understood it, I understood that some of these parents said that they were not notified by email, but the email that the school says was sent May 12th. Some parents are saying that they didn't go out of their way to really let the parents know so that they could let the kids know. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, the email was sent out, but it wasn't some blaring thing where it stuck out to the parents to address this with their kids. As a parent, it, it hurts me so badly to hear that a kid thought they might die and not see their parents again. Drills are necessary, but I think the kids should have had a heads up. Yeah. Jedediah, former educator, you yeah. had a visceral reaction. Yeah, this is crazy. You have to either get a consent form signed, brought in, but if I were, were the head of, of things here, I would have called. I would have had a conversation with parents, because parents need to have a conversation with their kids about this beforehand. It seems like everyone was in the loop except for the kids. So now you're going to have traumatized kids, which is a complete uh, disaster. This is not how they should have handled this. Yeah, I think there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it, and I've talked to a friend who has children in Manhattan. The right way is to talk to the kids, talk to the parents, make it very orderly. This this scares me. I mean, I would have been scared if it would have happened. You know, Steve, is this really necessary? I mean, I, I know that there are threats on, on every school campus potentially, but is this necessary? Well, you can understand why they'd want to, to have. So, like I said, this sheriff bows down to the federal government, doesn't uphold his oath, and there are so many stories. Like I say, this is the most crooked little law enforcement. And in the state of Wyoming, apparently, that not me or a few others have been able to find, nobody, can, nobody in the state of Wyoming will investigate these crooked departments or crooked cops. So that's why there is a militia. So there's a few of us good old boys and girls here, but apparently they're trying to take us out, aren't they? Yeah. So anyhow, that's my rant for today. Yeah. Sheriff, police chief, you're criminals. Like I say, don't ever come around me. Don't ever try and make up some bullshit to take me down. Don't ever send the federal government here to do your dirty work. Because that's what you were trying to do. Because you knew if you could find something, send them in, there would be a gunfight. They would either take me out <laughs> or I'd take out several of them. Well, I guarantee you several of them would have been taken out. <laughs> but, yeah. Sorry, I'm not going away that easy. But, uh, like I say, this criminal... Sheriff and police chief need to be exposed for multiple crimes for not upholding their oath, for not doing their job, for terrorizing people, especially children, huh? Letting murderers run around shooting people, blaming me, blah, blah, blah. And harassing poor, innocent preppers who are just minding their own business and getting ready for what's coming. Yeah. Cowards. Anyhow. When I get uh, some Freedom of Information requests back, and hopefully testimony of the guy that uh, they raided, I'll, uh, I'll make another video. But sorry this is long. But I had to get it out of me because I've been stewing over it for a few days now. Anyhow, I uh, will talk at y'all later. Be safe out there. Don't turn your back on anyone with a badge. And remember, always be armed, especially when you're around badges. Blue ISIS, <laughs> as Gavin calls them. <laughs> Which technically true, even though we know ISIS is uh, <laughs> all ran by our government, <laughs> the Jews, the Jesuits, whoever. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Love y'all. And I'll talk to you later.